people think deja vu is a fun experience for some reason. Like whenever it happens to you, you always tell the person next to you that it's happening. They get all excited. They're like, ooh, what's gonna happen next? You're like, I don't know. Then you both laugh. Then you both finish your mimosa. It's a good time. Deja vu scares the shit out of me sometimes. I'm not gonna lie about it. It's a creepy thing. But why does this happen? What does it mean? Why do we feel like we're reliving a moment in time? What the f is up with deja vu? I'm Taylor McWaters and today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're gonna try and figure this thing out. The idea of seeing the future or even having a sense about what's about to happen is a pretty cool concept. It's used in tons of movies, good or bad, especially when they don't know how to explain shit. They're just like, uh, he's from the future, I guess. Credits? In the future, the rules have changed. Who the hell are you? It could also be done quite well. The concept of revisiting your past makes for a pretty fun blockbuster. But can we change things if we do it differently? What's happened's happened, which is an expression of faith in the mechanics of the world. Confusing, but fun nonetheless. We experience deja vu pretty often. Maybe a song will pop into your head, and then 10 minutes later, your brother starts whistling that exact same song in the hallway. You're like, wait a minute, have I done this before? Am I in a Christopher Nolan movie? Is that what's happening? Some believe that deja vu is a sign. It's a sign from the universe that you are on the right track. Just keep going. You're like, great universe, you got it. And sure, that would be awesome. Maybe you just passed your driving test, you experienced deja vu, you're like, yes, this is great. I'm on my path, I'm doing it, let's go. That'd be sweet. You'd be team deja vu, for sure. But then what if it happens on a bad day? Like you get a flat tire and then you experience deja vu. You're like, okay, I see you. Works in mysterious ways. Hitchhiking it is. No, that's not, that's not what that means. Don't, don't hitchhike, that's a bad idea. Don't ever do that. Emil Barak coined the term in 1876 and it means already seen and not like goth rocker scene. That didn't come till much later. But it wasn't until 1896 until people really started to talk about this thing scientifically. A French neurologist proposed to use it as a scientific meaning. He was explaining this case of a young man, Louis, this 34 year old who was suffering from amnesia after getting cerebral malaria. Now, after he recovered, Louis had this feeling, this sense that everything happening had already happened before. And the doctors didn't know if this was a side effect to what just happened with his brain. But now he has the sensierity. He was the first deja viewer. There have since been many theories that try to explain this phenomenon that everybody goes through at one point or another. And so far there are three main theories that stick. The first theory being dual processing theory. Okay, so say you're on the bus, you're going to work, you've done this before, it's your normal morning commute. Then say the driver hits the brakes a little too hard and a kid wearing a Ninja Turtles backpack spills his chocolate milk all over your shoes. Say that happens. Now it all happens at the same time and your brain processes it all at the same time. So you have two common cognitive pathways. You have familiarity and retrieval. So deja vu usually happens during a routine exercise, going to work, maybe you're doing laundry, maybe you're visiting a friend, whatever the case, you've done it before. Now sometimes when this happens, it takes the brain a little extra time to process one of these elements. There's a delay in the information. So the chocolate milk will splash on your fresh laceless vans, but you'll connect it to a normal commute in the past. So it'll feel like it's happened before, although you know for a fact, Ninja Turtle Kid and the vans, this has never happened before. Just a little delay in the information, that's all. The second theory is the hologram theory. Now our memories are stored in the brain as holograms, almost like Disney Pixar in Inside Out. They got it pretty close with that. It's just these pockets of information that are floating around our subconscious. And then one small fragment, one trigger word is needed to unlock this entire memory. It happens all the time. Like if you're at a restaurant and then one of your friends orders Jack Daniels and you're like, oh my God. An entire night just comes back to your brain. You're like, wow, I totally forgot about that until you said it. A keyword unlocks a memory. Now, sometimes this sneaks up on you when you're experiencing something entirely new. So you may see something or feel something or smell something that feels familiar. And then that's when the, have I done this before feeling, that's when the deja vu starts to come in. You fail to recognize the trigger words that spawns this sense of familiarity, but deep down your brain still remembers, leaving you feeling like you're having a premonition. And now all of a sudden your friends are in danger. Great. Alex? <laughs> Could you trace Cecil's legs so she and I could sit together? The third theory is divided attention theory. Ross? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. 
Now this happens when all of our attention is on one thing. Maybe you're at a Beyonce concert and she's killing it. You're like, wow, how? She's like 39 years old. This is insane. She's killing the choreography. This makes no sense. She's so good. You're focused on one thing the entire time but your brain is subliminally processing the stadium around the stage at the same time. So there could be a girl five rows down, just butchering the lyrics, trying to sing along, and your brain picks it up, although you may not realize it. So at the end of the night, when the lights come on and then you're all leaving, you're like, wait, have I seen that girl before? Yes, everybody has seen that girl before. The entire section has seen that girl before. You just weren't really paying attention because well, Beyonce, duh. <laughs> So maybe deja vu is a spiritual awakening. Maybe it's your brain just having a lazy day. Whatever the case is, it's always pretty exciting whenever it happens. Like whenever somebody's near me and they have deja vu, I always try and make it impossible. I always try and ruin their deja vu. I'm like, popsicle sticks, hot pockets, uh, hot air balloons, Mike Tyson. Did you know I was gonna say that? And even still, they're nodding along like, yep, yep. Mike Tyson, yep, I know you, yep, what the f is going on? So before we wrap this video up, guys, we wanna hear from you. Let us know in the comments down below your creepy deja vu, paranormal kind of experiences, cause every family has at least one. We wanna hear from you. Also, let us know any future topics that you wanna see on What the f Wednesdays. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Life's Biggest Questions. Peace.